didn't actually think I was going to be making a video, but, um, okay, so, update on the widow, it's going into the shop tomorrow, so expect videos of that, because I feel like once that clutch is fixed, we're not going to have any more problems with that thing, other than, you know, buttoning everything up and getting it looking nice and running nice and stuff like that, it already runs nice, it just... It's, it's held together with literally all zip ties. I don't think there's a single bolt holding those body panels on. So, yeah, I'd like to make brackets for those, but, eh, you can dream all you want, but if I don't, if I don't make the means to make it happen, it's not going to happen, which, I'll be honest, it's probably not. Um... But yeah, so, this is not about the Widow. It's not even about a moped, really, but it's about a vehicle. It's about a vehicle that I want to build, right? Okay, so, doing my nightly meme watch, I binge watch memes before I go to sleep because it brings good luck upon me and my family. Um, I came across a meme of a young fellow riding a garbage can down a fucking hill. Like, I'm not joking. He was riding a garbage can, like a Herbie, down a hill. It was amazing, right? And I got to thinking. Colin Furs, if you know who he is, if you don't, go look for him and check him out. He's amazing. But, Colin Furs made an RC trash bin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, alright. Let me show you all this. Alright. Let me get a level. So, I don't even know what I'm going to call this yet. I don't even know how long it's going to take to build. Or if I will ever build it, really. But, so. The guy was riding a garbage can down a hill. And, so, I drew up this, right? When I first started thinking about it, I was thinking about just putting a little swivel wheel right here. What's it called? A caster wheel. Yeah. I was going to put a caster wheel right here so the bank could sit lower and it would look like you're actually sliding. The only thing about that is, if you had a caster wheel up here and had rear wheel steering, um, yeah, I don't think that would work very well for, you know the well-being of your organs and stuff like that so um so I came up with this if you know what a moped front wheel looks like this is what I inspired this to look like um thinking about it and going over the parts that I would need and stuff I could actually source a lot of the stuff from a scooter right I could even let me let me draw it up real quick I could even do this just take the entire back end with the engine and everything out of a scooter and make it two wheel steering in the front to make it stable kind of like how a Morgan three wheeler is set up you got two wheels in the front one in the back um, yeah, just take, like, the whole engine, the shock mount, the motor mount, everything, and make it one wheel in the back. But I kind of like how the garbage can looks with the two wheels already being there. So, here's my plan. Okay, I'll start with the frame. This is a side view of the frame idea, right? This is all ideas. I don't know if this is ever going to be done or not, but... If you can imagine sitting on top of a garbage can, um, I imagine there being like an R3 engine or something in here. Not a lot of power, but I honestly don't want to, I wouldn't want to use a pit bike engine because they're just kind of anemic. Um, so yeah, I would build a lattice structured frame under the body of the trash can so that you could still look like a trash can. But it won't crumple under you if you crash at 5 miles an hour, right? 
So this is the frame here that would go under the trash can. This is the steering stem right here. The wheel would be right here. This is where the axle would be. Speaking of the axle, um, so if I just left the axle the width of the trash can, I guarantee as soon as you tried to turn, it would roll over. So use like a wide go-kart rear axle and let the tire stick out a little bit, right? Just run it right through the back of the trash can right here and make a longer axle so it's more stable. Again, here's the engine, the chain going to the axle. There's the front tire. Here's what the top view of the um, the frame would look like. You wouldn't ever see the frame. I would build the frame and then somehow put the body over it and you would never even see the frame. Um, so yeah, frame, a seat mount. I just drew this style of seat on here because I kind of thought about it. Um, I want something that would like kind of hold you on because if you don't know how wide a trash can is, a trash can is kind of wide. It's not the, the ideal place to sit when you're doing 40 miles an hour. So you need a seat that would hold you in. I just drew like a cafe style seat on here, but I could actually use a moped seat for this too because they slant up in the back. Like they're kind of shaped like this. Like this is the front. They're really big down here. Then they slant up like that. I could really use that kind of seat, actually. And, like, I could even use, like, a moped frame. Like, use the front steering stem from the moped. And take the frame rails and everything from it and just widen them out. And put cross braces in between them like I have here. And, yeah, um... I see no problem with this coming to fruition at all. Like, it's stupid. I, I need a welder and a few other tools to make it happen, but you're literally just building, like, what would I use for this? Angle iron. Yeah. Yeah, just take angle iron and make the frame. The frame doesn't need to be that sturdy. Trash cans are already sturdy, but, you know, for collateral. Um, I could see this coming to fruition. I really could. The hardest part about it, probably, would be figuring out how high to actually make this sit, because you kind of would need to lean it a very tiny bit. Like, if it's wide enough to keep itself stable, then you can just, like, turn like normal. But if it's narrow and it wants to tip over like that whenever you turn, then you might need to lean. I forgot to draw foot controls. Um, the foot controls will probably just come out of the frame and poke through the side of the trash can. Something like that. And just have foot pegs on it with the shifter and everything. The handlebar height would have to go along with the seat. Um, a wheelie bar so that you don't go flying on your ass. <laughs> yeah, man. I see this. I could see this happening soon within the next year or two. Oh, yeah. Um, a little rear shock right here so the the wheelie bar can like dip up a little bit but it still has pressure behind it um that's pretty much all I got to cover here so yeah let me know if you guys like that idea I really like that idea I would love to build something wild like that at some point like, it would be, honestly, a great way to learn how to weld. I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of that plan.
it very well could happen. It's not that hard of a project, really. The hardest part is, like, gathering the materials and figuring out how to put it together. Putting it together wouldn't be that hard. The hard part is the prep, honestly, but let me know if you guys would want to see that in the future, because I think it'd be pretty cool. Alright, y'all. I'm going to go to sleep, and I'm going to wake up, and I'm going to grind tomorrow, because that moped is getting into that shop, and it's going to run. So, sleep tight, y'all.